Let's talk about the directionality of communication. That is to say, can it only go one way or can it go both ways? And we have three combinations of that. Different media types, different wires, uh, such as coax cable or twisted pair cable and so on, have different capabilities. We have names for three types, and so we'll talk about those three types. The first is simplex traffic. Simplex traffic means it can only go one direction. Now, coax cable is a good example of this. Uh, we'll talk about the construction a little bit later, but I can only send information one direction down coax cable. Fiber optic is another good example. A single strand of fiber optic, I can only send one direction. Broadcast TV is a great example. Uh, I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember broadcast TV, but you'd get a TV guide, and then you could tune in or not tune in. There was You couldn't take a survey on it, right? because there's no way for me to send information back to the TV company. It's only one direction. Half duplex is then when we use simplex traffic, but we stop it and then go the other direction, so that we can have bidirectional traffic, but only one at a time. Now, you would need at least two copper wires for this uh, because uh, two copper wires makes a circuit. So it, it, with electrical signals, you have to have two wires in order to even go one direction. Uh, fiber optic, you only have to have one strand. Uh, but in both of those cases, each host has to wait its turn. And we'll talk about twisted pair wire in, in a couple of minutes. Two-way radios are a really good example of half-duplex traffic. So I press the button when I want to talk, and I release the button when I want to listen. So that would be great, uh, a great example of half-duplex traffic. Full-duplex traffic means that uh, I can send data two directions at the same time. I would need four copper wires to do this uh, if I were using electrical signals. Uh, two fiber optic strands, and sometimes we'll put two strands in one jacket in order to make it bidirectional. Otherwise, it's only unidirectional, so it's only uh, simplex or, or half duplex. So let's kind of put these together. With, the, uh, with coax cable, you only have two conductors in coax cable. So it can be simplex or it can be half duplex. It's, of course, only half duplex if the equipment on either side is capable of cutting off and restarting transmissions in both directions. That's not a function of the wire. That would be a function of the equipment on, on both ends. Fiber optic, the same thing. It can be simplex. It can be half duplex. Uh, I, and again, it depends on the equipment at the end to, to turn it off and on in order to go different directions, kind of like keying that mic on the, uh, the two-way radio. However, what we often do is we'll put two strands of wire, because these things are only about the size, a little bit bigger than the size of a hair. So two strands of wire inside a single cable jacket, and then I can get full duplex out of it. Twisted pair, I can always get full duplex out of twisted pair cable. It has eight wires in it. So I have two wires for a circuit for one direction, two wires for a circuit from the other direction, uh, and I'm using four wires. And by the way, we, we typically only use four wires out of the eight wires in twisted pair cable. However, I will mention parenthetically that once you hit gigabit speeds, then we, we tend to send two at a time uh, in each direction in order to get faster speeds. But that has nothing whatsoever to do with the rest of this stuff. It's just a parenthetical note for completeness. So twisted pair, we can always get full du duplex out of that. Thank you very much for listening.